Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am back with a new video. In this video, I will be talking about PCR, one of the most important concept and topic with respect to board exam as well as with respect to NEET exam. PCR stands for Polymerase Chain Reaction and this PCR is also known as Thermal Cycler. Why it is called as Thermal Cycler? Because it is regulated and it works with respect to the temperature. Some temperature somewhere is increased or decreased. It is one of the artificial technique. So we can say it is in vitro technique. In vitro means it is in the laboratory. Anything happening or taking place outside the body is called as in vitro or in artificial condition. In 1983, Carrie Mullis was the scientist who invented this PCR machine and the technique for which he got Nobel Prize in 1993. The Carrie Mullis PCR machine is also used in DNA fingerprinting technique and also it is used for gene amplification technique also. We need to understand the requirements for DNA amplification or we can say PCR. So first we need a DNA sequence that has to be amplified or the sequence. Now here we need to understand that the DNA sequence should be somewhere around 100 to 35 kilo base pair. It should not be more than that. First we require primer. We require a forward primer and a reverse primer. We require four types of DNTPs that is deoxyadenine triphosphate, deoxycytosine triphosphate, deoxyguanine triphosphate and deoxythymine triphosphate. All the four DNTPs in equal amount. Plus most important what we need is a thermostable enzyme and that enzyme is called as a TAC polymerase. It is going to work same like DNA polymerase but it is TAC polymerase because it works at high temperature also and it is obtained from a bacteria and the name of the bacteria is Thermus aquaticus. I repeat it is Thermus aquaticus. We need to understand the steps of polymerase chain reaction. So logically there are three steps involved and I call it as HAP. H A P in short. When I say H, H stands for heat denaturation. It means here we are going to somewhere use high temperature around 91 degrees Celsius for denaturing the DNA. Double stranded. Second step is annealing which is at 55 degrees Celsius and P stands for polymerization which takes place at 72 degrees Celsius. Remember the steps and the temperature it is HAP. Now we need to understand here that PCR is also called as gene amplification steps or it can be also called as PCR or it is also called as thermal cycler. So in exam if you get any of these three name the answer will remain same. Now let's understand the three steps of DNA fingerprinting in a very easy way. Let us assume this to be the double stranded DNA and both the strands are definitely linked up by the hydrogen bonds of the nitrogen bases. So first step will be heat denaturation where we are going to increase the temperature around 91 degrees Celsius. Now we need to understand here that A and T are holded by double hydrogen bond and C and G they are holded by triple hydrogen bond. It means energy required to break A and T will be less and the energy required to break C and G bond will be more with respect to number of hydrogen bond. And what happens the DNA gets denatured. We get two single standard DNA and we move on to the next step that is annealing which is in which the temperature is brought down to 55 degrees Celsius. We had a primer, it will be a forward primer as well as a backward primer. Now in this the primer that we are using will be DNA primer. We cannot use RNA primer as for DNA replication. In this we are using DNA primer. Now the biggest role the primer is going to attach at 3 prime end. So this is a backward primer and this we call it as forward primer. Now we need to somewhere increase the temperature. So that is the third step polymerization. Here the temperature is raised to 72 degrees Celsius and the most important enzyme of PCR is brought into picture that is TAC polymerase obtained from Thermus aquaticus. Most important property stable at high temperature. 
this tag polymerase will start adding all the dntps corresponding to the dna strand and new dna will be synthesized in 5 prime to 3 prime direction so this is how we can somewhere synthesize the dna by the help of pcr machine and this results in formation of two new dna and once two dnas are formed it is completion of one cycle so this is two dna synthesized from one dna by the help of pcr machine so you just have to remember three steps h a p heat denaturation annealing and polymerization for pcr technique what is most important the sequence of the reaction plays a very important role here and for completion of one cycle 3 to 5 minutes are required and the cycle is repeated only for 30 cycle it means for 30 cycles we do dna replication because after that the reliability decreases hope friends you have understood the concept of pcr in a very simplest and short way don't forget to give a like to the video thank you very much